So in this video today guys, I'm going to quickly explain how you can set up your brand new 360Hz gaming monitor, ensuring that you use the correct cables and not the wrong ones, ensure that you've also got all the correct settings in your GPU control panel, which some people forget about. No way! You have a 144Hz screen and you've never been playing with 144Hz? Ah. And then finally, I'm going to show you all how to set it up correctly in-game, because without doing this, you may experience some screen tearing or motion blur issues, so it's really important to do all of these. But by the end of watching this video guys, you should have 360Hz set up on your monitor correctly, which means you'll get it in any game you play and it'll feel amazing. So if this video does help out, feel free to drop a like on it as I'd appreciate that a ton. Now though, let's go ahead and get into the first step, which is making sure you've got the correct cables. So for this guys, when using a 360Hz display, you cannot use a HDMI 2.0 cable. This cable right here on screen only supports 240Hz not 360 hertz instead of using that cable right there instead you must use a displayport 1.4 cable which looks like this on screen this cable right here supports 360 hertz whereas the HDMI one does not, that only supports 240Hz and below. Next up, we must configure the monitor settings inside of Windows. I'm currently on Windows 10, but if you're on Windows 11, the steps should be pretty similar. But all you want to do, guys, is actually go over to your desktop. You want to go to the bottom left right corner right here and click on this panel. Then you want to click on the cog where it says settings right here. This should open your settings tab. You then want to go into system, which is the first one right here. You then want to make sure that display is selected. It should come up um, by default. Then what you want to do is scroll down but before we click on advanced display settings which we will in a second make sure your display resolution is at the correct one or the recommended one so mine is on native 1920 by 1080 this is very important some people's come by default on like some random ones so just double check that that's on that and it's all correct then you want to go into advanced display settings just click that and then in here guys you want to make sure you select your free 160 hertz display because it might choose one of your other monitors by default so for me i'm actually using a 144 hertz video i know i should be using a 360 hertz but it's basically the same steps just i'm on 144 hertz so i'm going to select my monitor you should select your main monitor your 360 hertz one then you want to make sure that the refresh rate is not on 60 hertz but instead is on 360 hertz or whatever highest refresh rate you've got i've only got a 144 hertz monitor so i'll be using this and then finally you want to go into the display adapter properties for display free or whatever number display you've got and then here guys you want to select monitor and make sure that it's on the highest refresh rate again, which for many of you that are watching this video, it should be 360 hertz. If not, just use the highest one. If you are on a low refresh rate monitor, of course, like I am. But after you've done that, guys, you wanna go ahead, save all that. And now what you wanna do is if you're on Nvidia, by the way, I'll show what to do on AMD in just a second. But if you're on Nvidia, you wanna go into your control panel by right clicking on your desktop, click on nvidia control panel once it's loaded up you want to go into the display tab where it says adjust desktop size and position and inside of here guys you want to double check that your main monitor is selected as mine is right here you also want to make sure that the refresh rate is on the highest one so in your case it should be 360 hertz just like that then you want to go ahead and save it and close it down and for amd guys what you need to do is you need to right click on your desktop click on the amd radio and settings then you want to click on display then after that under the display options you want to make sure that 360 hertz is selected moving on to the final step guys for this last step you want to make sure that your games are configured correctly so you basically want to make sure that the frame rate limit caps in any game for me it's obviously fortnite you want to make sure that that is set up correctly so in fortnite guys what you want to do is you want to go into your video settings right here and where it says frame rate limit you want to set this to either unlimited or 360 FPS, whichever feels best for you in your system. Alternatively, if you have a G-Sync monitor, which some of you might have, what you want to do for this is you actually want to go into your in-game config. So for Fortnite, what you want to do is press the Windows key plus R at the same time. You then want to go into where it says local updated percentage sign, just like this. You then want to find your Fortnite folder, just like that. Click saved, click config, click Windows client, and then this is the config file for Fortnite. Inside here, guys, you want to right click on it, make sure that read only is unchecked firstly. You then want to go ahead and edit it, and inside of the code right here, guys, you want to look for frame rate limit, and just to save time, I'm going to press Control F and type in frame and that should come up somewhere there we go just like that so as you can see guys it's actually set up already is 360 fps but what we want to do is actually turn this down to free 
555. And what this will do is it'll prevent any sort of screen tearing or motion blur that you might have. It's a little trick that a lot of people out there do. I've just read online that it works pretty well, so I just thought I'd recommend it for you guys out there that, again, experience any of the issues I mentioned before. But to save this, guys, and make sure it actually works in Fortnite, what you want to do is you want to go ahead, click Save, and after that, you want to close it down. And to make sure that your files don't get changed when you reopen Fortnite, you want to go ahead and go into Properties and click Read Only and press Apply. But do remember, guys, when you have this setting actually set on Read Only, this means that you won't be able to change any Fortnite settings unless you uncheck this, so that's really important. But for now, we're going to go ahead and keep it saved as we wanted for our G-Sync monitor. And yeah, guys, it's as simple as that. That's how you set up your brand new 360 hertz gaming monitor. It's pretty simple. As you see, and there's only a few steps, really, to get it all working correctly. So if the video did help out, then please let me know by dropping a like on the video, dropping a sub on the channel, and using Code Life in the Fortnite item shop. I'd appreciate that a ton. That's all I've got for now. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.